Hello dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my automation tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, different types of vibration measuring system are using. Bentley Nevada 35 vibration motor system is most usable one of them. We use this vibration system to measure the vibration, temperature and axial displacement of different turbine, compressor and uh, high pressure pumps. Today, I will discuss about the troubleshooting procedure of vibration monitoring system. Different types of problems happen when we are using this uh, vibration system. So, let's start. First, I will discuss about the problem, what are happening. You see, in this pump, the axial displacement is showing the low alarm. You see, Point minus 0.57 and 1 is minus 0.5809. That means what is happening? It is the our setting problem or the or the setting value. I want to discuss about this. And in the Bentley Nebula system, you see one car is going to the bypass mode. And I want to find out what's the problem that is happening. For that, this uh, transmitter, that means the module is go to the bypass mode. We want to find out the situation or problem that are happening. Why these are go to the bypass mode. In the previous video I have shown to upload for this uh, diagnostic first we have to be upload the program that is the uh, we have to be monitor the program then we can the find out the root cause of this uh, transmitter uh, or this module is go to the bypass mode. In the previous video I show the program upload directly to by using the network system in this video I will show upload the program from the battery Nevada uh, rack to the laptop by directly. So, I am using the direct cable that is the exactly the printer cable that can we use to directly upload for download or monitor bar that means configure the program of battery Nevada system by using this cable. So, one side they connect to the TDA module and another side is connected to the laptop side. Now, I upload the program from the rack system. So, we open the rack configuration software that uh, version is 5.0 SP. This is used to upload, download, monitor or the configuration of this program by using the same software. So, go to the, here you have so if you want to the, use the network system, you go to the network and browse, then you can connect. If the, you want to direct system, so press the direct and here you see the board rate that means the uh, com uh, whose com port is are using laptop. Form 3 and the 9, uh, 900, that means 9600, and go to the right and press the current button. And here you can see the rack, and you can uh, the rack number, and you can the uh, here you see the rack number, and you see in the lower side you see scanning the rack number 1, 2, 3, 4 in the right side, not you see it is the it is a configuring. It is the direct system, the direct system known to the uh, known to the IP address of this configuration is directly connected to upload or download. In the system in the one by one slot is a scanning. It is no need to scan if you want to scan this one. You can press the stop browse button, then it will be stop and the press the direct connect button, then we will be connected. In this video, I will show why this will uh, is showing low. It is maybe a setting problem or the, the uh, I have to show what the high high setting value of this transmitter that uh, you go to the low low then you will trip and another one is the our uh, battery level system one fixing card is go to the bypass mode and why you go to the bypass mode I want to identify this one. So we press the stop button and we connect the directly to upload the program from the next system. You see. Press the stop browse. I do not want to scan all the module that are connected in the only 22 or this is the module is con that means scanning in the uh, rack system. So, press the stop button and pause it, or select the directory and press the connect. You see, action is established. That means the our data is directly connected to the rack system, the laptop is connected, and now we press the upload button upload from rack system because if we want to diagnose first we have to be upload the program. So, I am uploading program from the rack system to the laptop then I can see all the module of the uh, 
uh, system, we can uh, go to one by one and check the module condition or the status of the same module. You see, program is uploading. It's near to complete. Yes, you see, program is uploaded and it is showing the message that the uh, upload is complete. Press the OK button and here you can see the different module. You can check one by one and you can see the what the desired uh, tag number that we want to see that why is showing the low value. You see, you can uh, if you know the number of uh, the slot is directly go to there because if you not uh, understand which uh, source meter are used to this for this tag you can uh, check one by one right side one is the commission card commission gateway card and uh, the left side uh, uh, all the that means the 13 to uh, 13 to 4 all these all the card are the proximeter card so if you not identify the which uh, proximeter are used to for that uh, specific tag number you have to be checked one by one you see, go to the verification, select on equal on, on select the one card and go to the verification, you can uh, see the condition of the same, all the tag that is connected in this proximeter, you see, here the, is, uh, okay, all value is okay, you, you identify the slot number that you go to the bypass mode, you see, select the channel number 2 and you see, in the channel number 2 it is showing the it is using channel number 2 to the tag number is the uh, v 232401 showing that it has amplitude is going to the invalid in 3. three. In 3 it is showing that okay, but you this tag is okay, but it will go to the channel 4, channel 4 is also okay. That means in this uh, proximity there are 3 types of uh, the 4 channel are using and 2 channel you see, 2 channel is showing the amplitude is invalid, you see, this is showing the invalid value. Uh, for this, Four channel are using three channel that means one, three, four are is okay, but in channel two, amplitude is okay. You see, channel one is okay, three is okay, four is okay, and only two, uh, two number channel is the value is uh, value is done not get the actual value is invalid, invalid, so it is invalid value, and the amplitude is okay, but is the amplitude live amplitude is showing the invalid. <coughs> so, the invalid value that means for that reason that means that this card is going to the bypass mode because uh, if it, the proximity will get any of this uh, channel the one channel is get uh, sorry one card is containing four channel and uh, if the one channel is go to the invalid mode then it does not get the live value from the field side it is go to the bypass mode it is the one of the feature of this a three five user vibration monitoring system for that reason the channel number two that is using that uh, using the tag number is v, 0 to vtx 3 to 4 0 pm this value does not coming from the field to the metal nevada system for that reason this transmitter is go to the bypass mode okay another one in the we can just see the setting value of this uh, transmitter or they go to the verification and in the verification you can see the another parameter all the parameter you can check what is the happening in this here again and i show another one another uh, another proximeter you see all the value is okay and this bitmap is showing the okay to check now we have to check which one that is connected to the uh, transmitter that is our two tags that means our XSL displacement of our high pressure pump is showing the low value so i want to uh, find out the which card are using to determine this value maybe or the setting value is maybe wrong or the or the shaft has to go to the uh, to go to the uh, low, low, to go to from the gap voltage is increase or for that reason it is going to the low value and uh, i want to identify what's the setting value uh, what's the high um, danger setting value of this transmitter so i am uh, trying to find out the tag number that i are using for the say one or uh, you see i am checking one by one which proximity are using to measure this uh, 
our desired tag number. So I am checking one by one of this card. So which one is the the uh, desired tag number? Or with the jet team, that means the axial displacement. Is all the VT that is vibration transmitter. I don't know which card are using for that, so I am checking one by one. If you know the desired slot number or the desired uh, proximity number, then you go to directly this one. I don't know, so I am checking one by one. Here you see this is the other desired tag number. That is the uh, JD uh, 1235B. This slot number is I'm using. So we go to the option and select this one and go to the verification. Go to the verification, click right button and go to verification. And in the verification mode, you can first you have to be select the option, then you select the card and go to, uh, press the right button and go to the verification. Then you can see the amplitude or the other desired one which will go to channel 1, channel 2, channel 2, 3. You see, channel 3 is using for this, is called the alarm. That means the our uh, Actual value that is the module is okay, and the channel 3 and 4 that is are using for the measuring the uh, axial displacement of this palm. So, it is showing the alarm that means the setting value is going to the low, so it is showing the signal. Also, it also gap voltage is a minus 14.4, and the actual value it is showing the alarm value is minus uh, 0 0.54. So, we check the setting value of this one. So, we go to the set point. To exit point and go to the this card and here you can see the setting value of this uh, alarm value channel 3 and 4 so we select the channel 3 you see here the alert is setting is the minus 0 0.50 to 0 0.50 that means the minus 0 0.52 plus 0.5 is setting the low value so our live value is showing the minus 0 0.54 that means it will go to the lower value Low, uh, beyond this the setting value, so it is showing the low alarm. And the right side is the danger alarm, which is danger setting is the minus 0.82, the minus 0.81. That means the if this value go to the minus 0.8, then the palm or tire value will be steep. So it is in with the danger mode. If it increase the uh, low low value, then the tire value will be steep. It is the setting value. And uh, here you can see that means the, our transmitter is showing the exact value. Maybe it is the coming the wrong value from the, uh, the transmitter. That means the, the field side. That means the setting of this uh, machinery system or that the uh, alignment of this uh, machinery system may be wrong. For this is the problem. So, uh, so this is showing the low value. It is not the problem of this battery in Nevada system. In the system I show how can we check the uh, setting value of, an one, of our tag number one by one I show you and I will show how can why the, our, the transmitter one of this go to the bypass mode and also show here the logic number. If the logic is active then the LED will be lit or the will be uh, blow on. In the logic system you can in the in my previous video in the battery level system I will show how can we make the logic system, how can we setting or how can we configure the proximeter, temperature or the um, uh, vibration system or excel displacement uh, many many video I have available in my video in the video description box you can also see the link of this transmitter uh, sorry link of the video from where if you want to understand or you want to learn you can see this my video in my previous video I have all the battery image system I show different types of videos available you can see from this here in this video I show the troubleshooting procedure uh, first, you have to be upload the program from the rack system. Then you go to the desired slot. That is the, uh, the problem on the faulty. In the, if you see that this card is showing the module is okay or not. If you see the module is okay, but it go to the bypass also the alarm. That is not the module problem. If this show this module is not okay, that is if the status of module is shown or not okay, then this card is will be faulty or uh, something damn is uh, or the card is a problem if this module is not okay then we have to be replace this card but our our module is showing us only bypass mode that means that for the one channel the library does not come into the battery the system for that is go to the bypass mode but it is the live or the card is module is okay and it is a transmitting the value or the connecting the value uh, other the from the other the setting value so before you close it, you have to save this program if you need for the use of HR use. So, you can 
it is own name and it is a separate so dear friend i will show how can you double shoot the battery the battery the battery the battery the battery system if you think it is very really useful for you and other you can please like comment and share my video also subscribe my channel if you already subscribe thank you and uh, you share my video so that other people can understand about this go to the disconnect mode and click will disconnect there's a disconnect and close this way close the video so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching